All right, guys, welcome to Blue Lane Garage. Um, we ordered a bunch of parts for our spider. Um, I'm going to go through the parts. I already opened up a bunch of them, but I left them to the side to show you guys. I just got the basic, oh, they're just some little stuff that uh, was on sale and pretty cheap that I on the store. I also got uh, the original Mopar brake fluid, uh, which I couldn't give up. It was at a, such a great price online. Um, also, the biggest thing that I was actually waiting for brake line. Um, as you can see, this was actually damaged um, on the car. So I went ahead and I just bought a whole new one from the dealer. Looks great. Matches the old one perfectly. Uh, let's see. I also had to change the strut. I did not have a full spring compressor. So I went ahead and bought, bought a new one that's just basically just a, a toy for the garage. Here. What else we got here? We got the rotor for the car. So we brought a new rotor, not too bad. I just went ahead and just got the, just a normal performance rotor. I didn't get any cross drilled or anything like that. I don't know about you guys, but I've experienced some issues with cross drill. They uh, basically shape the car too much when you're driving for a while or pressing the brake too much. Let's see what we got over here. Right here we have some brake elements. This is actually for the rear. I'm still waiting for the are used they're cleaned up fairly nice not too bad now hey leave a comment below let me know if i should paint these calipers uh red i'm thinking about painting uh all the last well not last part here but we got the headlight like i said the headlight is pretty expensive um from the dealer it's about 15 1800 bucks i got i got it on ebay for about 300. it's a little used but looks new to me not too bad at all very clean Came in nice packaging. We'll put that back in there until we're ready for it. We'll toss this other part here. Now the big part to start all this stuff is going to be the rack and pinion, which is right here on the bottom. <laughs> This is the rack and pinion. Check this out. Shipped very professionally. Got the piece of wood in there. Now this wasn't, I wasn't expecting was the tie rods. I was not expecting the outer and inner tie rods. I believe lots of times when I asked them if they're included, they told me no. I also got the electronic power steering over here. Um, I don't know if I should use this one or the original in the car. Tell me what you think if I should keep the one that's in the car or this uh, spare part one here. But in a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and install this, and we're gonna basically uh, show you how it's done. There's no videos online to show you how to change the rack of pinion out of the spider. Um, I went ahead and loosened up some bolts so far, right in there, you can see. And then we'll get this going. So, looks like I'm getting a little stuck over here. Let's see if we get a little better light. So what it is that this here, this hose, I don't know what this hose looks like. It's for the radiator. Uh, it's it's kind of stuck on the rack and pinion here. So we need to remove this and figure out how to get the steering off of this. I took this off already. It's a cap to another screw bolt on the inside. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this off. All right, guys, uh, so what's going on is um, there's this plate right underneath 
um, the rack and pinion, not right underneath, but a little bit forward. I'm going to take this plate off so I can access um, the inner parts and basically um, try and reach some things I'm unable to reach and get off. All right, so let's get this up. All right, guys, we unscrewed that pan that we were talking about. We're going to take it down. Oh, we missed one screw right here. Let's get that off. All right, guys, now that's off, we can take down this plate here. It looks like we're underneath the engine here which I see a cracked motor mount right there. See the cracked motor mount? I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Good thing we took this off so we'd be able to spot it. Let's see if we find any other issues down here. All right guys, so the pan was off here. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look right in there, that's gonna be the release bolt for the, the steering, which we, we, we need. Let me get some light up there. Um, once we unscrew that right there, um, we could probably try and get this thing off. Not a big deal. Let's see. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, I took that screw. I didn't take it out, I loosened it up. You don't wanna take it all, all the way, just enough to release that clamp and uh, it's loose here you can see once we move the rack opinion out it'll slide out you can see so let's go ahead and get that going and we need to just release this um, outer tie rod here and we can get that out all right we finally got the rack and pinion out um, extremely tight um, but the drive shaft here was very simple to take to take out so let's see, let's take this out, lay it up right next to the next one. Check that out. Even the one I took out of the car still looks a lot newer, cleaner. But as you can see, it's cracked here. The piece broke off, cracked right there. And you can see it's complete on this side and that's what we need. All right, let's go ahead and put this in. All right guys, we got the rack and pinion installed. Uh, now we can start setting up our passenger side front end here. everything uh, somewhat buttoned up in there I still, I'm still waiting for a few more parts to come in and then we'll get it going but the new rack and pinions in all that stuff I'm waiting right now for the lower control arm I got the stabilizer right here I just gotta wait for the lower control arm to come in all right all right guys this is what we got so uh, got done so far um, like I said I'm just waiting for the lower control arm and then uh, pretty much be able to get the tire on this thing roll it off the trailer and do some more work on it. I put all these little things back together. I put the new brake line I got from the dealer on here. That should be going good. should set up just like that. And that's it. So stay tuned um, and look out for uh, part three. Blue Line Garage. That's how we do.